welcome. This is Ruth and today I have got the very first in the Create and Make set from Tonic. So up until now we've had kits and showcases and all sorts of things and this is now a new thing called Create and Make and this is the very first one and this is called the Tiny Trunk die set. So there are 18 different dies in this and I'm going to have a very very quick look at the dies and then show you what I think that I can make with it anyway and hopefully you'll enjoy it too and think of some more ideas of your own. It actually looks really really nice. I love this kind of a shape here that you can use on other things as well and uh, obviously lots of things here that you can use on different things too. So if you haven't already subscribed maybe you'd like to do that and hit the notification bell that way you'll not miss any of these as they come up and you can also then if you fancy you can look back at some of the other videos that I've already made uh, on the kits and showcases and stamp clubs and different things. This Create and Make is actually going to initially replace the Stamp Club, so I'm not sure what happens further down the line, but initially it's going to replace that. So, if you do enjoy the video as well, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and leave me a little comment down below because that not only lets me know what you like, but it helps my channel immensely, so thank you so much for that. Obviously this is a pre-production sample, so I have no packaging or anything there. But you will get yours in packaging and the instructions will be there as well. So I'm just going to have a quick look at some of the instructions that I have got online from this. But uh, it, that will tell you how many bits and pieces of each one of these dies to cut out. But please don't forget that you don't necessarily have to use all of these dies in the same way as what makes this tiny trunk. Because there are definitely some of these that you can use for other things as well. First of all, I've taken this die and I've cut that out four times. So these are little side pieces for the little uh, the little trunk. And I've cut four of those out in sea salt green. And I, I really love that colour and I love how it tones in or matches really well with the Mulberry Wine paper, the new 12 by 12 paper pack by Tonic. So I have cut these in the sea salt and then this die, which is the one that gives you the decorative detail on this. And I've cut those out in the Mulberry Wine and glued them on. So on two of those then, two just stay as they are and on the other one then I've taken this little die which looks a bit strange but it's actually, I'll just show you it here, it's actually a little guide here and then this is the cutting area here. So I have cut this into two of them and I'll just show you how you do that. You turn it over with the cutting side down and lay it right on top of this and you can see that the outside edge just matches the outside edge here. And then you'll tape that right on there, run it through your die cutting machine and then this little hole will be cut into the centre of that and you can see how that turns out there. Now you'll need these three dies to make the little drawer. So these are just sort of mirror images of each other and then this one is the other one. And you can see the way you've got to glue them together here. So this is the longer tab and the shorter tab at this end and then this little glue tab here will get glued just in there with the long end here and the same one here and when I've done that then I'll fold them up. Then I'll just add glue along here and here and glue those panels together just like that and leave this open for the time being. You'll need this die cut out twice. So I have these here and I've burnished all these little fold lines. And then I have them face down here and I just want to put glue on this. So right into that little hexagon there. And then pop this one on and just make sure that you've got um, all of these going right around the outside and there's no gaps. And then you can check if you turn it over there that you've got these all perfectly aligned the whole way around. And it should then look like that. Now, the next thing is just to hold that for a minute or two until all of that glue has taken because the last thing you want to do is get it to that stage and then for it all to slip. So on these little side parts here, I'm just going to add some glue and put that in behind and leave these ones for a minute or two. Just let those fold back outwards actually. It makes it a wee bit simpler. But it's very, very easy anyhow. Just glue on here and glue that directly in there. And work your way right around until you've got a little knob shape. So glue on all of these tabs facing right round the outside of this. Now 
Now I'm going back to the little side panels that I had already made and decorated and I'm going to attach them all together but just remember you've got to have them uh, so that they work out that these two sides are opposite each other this one and this one so you'll have them glued together like this and then we'll just leave uh, move that over <laughs> just like this all in a row and then we'll just leave the back one open so don't join them all together yet leave one end open This die cuts out the cylinder side panel then and this one is the little decorative part for that. So you'll need to cut that one out, both of them out twice actually. And there they are. And I have glued the little decorative panel right on top there. And then there are two little circles here and one is 14 millimetres and one's 22. So you'll take the bigger one and cut out two circles and then just glue them directly on top of there. So the best I, the best way to do that is just put glue into the centre of the semicircle that you'll see there. There's a little debossed line and that is the guide for popping that on there. And there you are. Now you can take this little die and it cuts a circle with a little hexagon cut out of the centre of it and another 22 millimetre circle. Go back to the little knob that you had earlier and this little part here gets fed through the little hexagon here, just like that. All those little edges just pop right through and then you can go ahead and glue them back. So all I'm going to do here is pop some glue on each one of those and glue those directly back on here and that will hold those nice and securely. When that glue has grabbed there then all you need to do is put glue on here and add your circle directly on top of that. But I'm just going to hold this down for a second or two to make sure all of that's grabbed properly, grabbed properly first. Now you can take this die, which is the cylinder panel, and this one which fits in there and cut a decorative panel out and glue it on top but before we do that we want to just make sure that these are curved nicely so I have curved this one just by putting a little bone folder in there and moving it along and I'm just going to do exactly the same here if you're not too sure about doing it like that you can just take a pen or uh, let's see one of these markers and just mold it slightly around that and that way you'll make sure you don't have any lines in it it will just be all curves Oh, there we are and I'm going to glue this on top of that and then when I have that done I am going to glue this curved part right onto the curved part of this and that should fit in between here and here where this glue panel is or where this folded line is here hopefully you can see that it's going to go from here to here right on there This is the little 14 millimeter circle so you'll need to cut two of those out and then you can use those as little axles so you'll need to glue two of them together and then you can glue them directly on here and that leaves a little gap for this to move around so I'm just going to attach those together and then we'll pop them through. To do is put glue on here set this on top just like that and then you're going to attach this part here so that that aligns up there and this front flap is facing forwards onto the short end here I 
had second thoughts about this uh, just after I did that last piece there. So you'll probably notice that yeah, I actually yeah. took the little circle die and I've added several more of those in. So I've actually got four on here instead of two. And then I've gone ahead and put four on here as well. And I also used this little die to cut out the centre of a flower and I've glued that on there as well. Now this is going to be totally different to the way you'll see in your instructions, but it works for me and I think it'll work for you too. So I can line this up here and then go ahead and put glue down here and get that together first. And you'll notice I haven't put my little drawer in yet, but I'm going to do this first. And then now I can go ahead and Put glue just onto the centre of this and add the larger circle on top of that. Now all I need to do to get this little drawer in here is turn the handle back so that the flap part is sitting up like that and it leaves me enough space here. And I'm going to add glue along these areas on the front of this little drawer and then attach that to the inside. Now, these points here need to be level with the top. So all you need to do is slide it inside the sort of curved area there. Drop it down in and line that up. And then you can just go ahead and hold all those pieces in and make sure they're lined and hold them like that until everything dries and the glue's all hard, all set. And there it is. And to me, that's a lot easier than the way it says in the instructions. But either way, uh, if you want to follow along with that, but... I like this. You probably noticed there that there actually was a little circle inside. It had no significance whatsoever. It was just a little stray one with a tiny piece of glue on it and it managed to settle itself in there, but it's gone now. So and all I need to do now is uh, decorate this part and this part and here. I went back to the paper pad then and I fussy cut a beautiful flower. I absolutely love this paper pad. So I cut a bigger flower there and a smaller one for there and I popped those up on 3D foam pads just to give a little bit of dimension and then I went back in with some honey gold glitter drops and added, you can see here where I've just added little tails on the, uh, I think that's clematis possibly there, it certainly looks like the centre of it and then the anemones here around there and some on here and just anywhere where there was the centre of a flower and then I got my little uh, glitter gloss pen here. So this is one of the shimmer markers, shimmer pen. And I put some shimmer on this front flower here. And I didn't want to overdo it by adding any more, but I think it turned out really, really lovely. So now I'm going to go ahead and make another one and show you what the little panels look like whenever they're cut out. But let me know in the comments down below if, well, if you sort of sometimes find that the instructions are suitable for, for putting it all together but you like a different way as well uh, certainly I find that a bit easier and I hope it does help you too but let me know what you think about that too I went back in with some patterned paper whenever all this glitter glue dried that looks really really gorgeous too and I just put a little piece in there and I think that finished that off really really well I always do that when I think I've finished something I just leave it sitting for a bit and then I usually end up going back and adding something else. So I've come back to this one again and this is Raspberry, yeah, Raspberry Pink uh, Classic Card and I have made the thing, the little trunk up in exactly the same way as I've made this one and then this time I used the decorative panels from the die set. So this one would give you a plain panel which is what I've used on here but when you use this and this together it gives you this beautiful pattern here and I glued that on before I attached all of that together. And then I did the same thing with these little side panels. So this one would give you the plain piece. And when you use the two together, you get this lovely shape here. And then I did the same for here. And I also used white on the little side piece as well to go on here. 
and again I always like my samples to be coordinated whenever I'm going to send them into tonic together and even for taking photos for my uh, video at the end I like them sort of to match together so I have added the little flower from the paper pack here and one on the back there as well and again I have used this on the inside just to tie all of that together now you can let me know in the comments down below if you like other ideas for this I think most of you do and uh, I thought I'd go ahead and cut some pieces out and go ahead with this for a little book. I thought this would make a really, really nice little book. And this area here could be a sort of tie together spine that you could put holes in. I've gone ahead then with this little die. And that's the page that I'm thinking of that I have in my head. And I used a little die for making these holes from the Eternal Moments memory book. But you could use anything you wanted there, even a little hole punch. And then I've made this little panel that I used on here and I've kept that flat. And instead of just adding the decorative one like this that I've used on here, I also backed it onto a piece of plain card there. And that's my front page. And then I've cut some more to go inside there. For the opposite side of this one then, I was going to add a mat on here. But you can see because my plate is marked, my uh, orange cutting plate for my tangerine, it leaves a little bit of marking around the outside here. And that's not usually a problem at all because I usually cover that with something. But I have cut the same piece of card here with the same die. I've cut it out in the sea salt green and folded this back. And I'm going to glue that on there. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of glue along this edge here and here. And that leaves me a little pocket that I can put something into this way. And that's the inside of my front page. then I've cut this piece here which is the plain panel and I've got glue on the other side it's on patterned paper and because this is what I would call let me turn that round because this is what I would call the good side I don't need to go right out to the outside edge of that one so I've got that on there and then I've die cut this little piece in white and that is uh, part of the drawer and I'm going to glue that in behind there it could actually go this way but then you can see part here so I'm going to glue those two pieces in behind the bottom and the side. And then when I have those on, I'll tuck that one in there. And that gives me a lovely little pocket there. And on the other side, then I'll be covering those two pieces up. covered the back of that then with a piece of patterned paper and made a little pocket the same way as I did for the first page on the inside there and then on the next page I've put a lovely little mat on there as well and then I've taken the die that uh, cuts out part of the drawer that's the bottom part of the drawer and I've cut this out here and folded this little part back and on that one I'm going to glue that in behind there again and I'll cover that over just in the same way as, I, as I've done for the others and I'm going to put glue up here and here and glue that one back. And then that's another little pocket in there. On the other side of that page then I've taken the same, what I'm calling the page die. And I have folded it back and I'm doing exactly the same thing as I've done on these other pages except that I am going to glue that on there and make the pocket with the edge uh, folded in at this side. And then on the opposite side then I've got another one of these dies and then a second one in the same colour. And I fold this one over just where that little tab is and I have used the little circle die to take a piece out of that. And that then is going to go on here and make a little pocket. So I've actually trimmed a slight little sliver off the end here to make that smaller. But this is actually a little add in piece of card to make a little extra leaf in here. So I'm going to glue that down really, really well. Glue that onto there, just up the sides and that will be my pocket. And then this little tab will get glued on in here before this one goes on. And then that is actually a little extra piece that I can put on before my next page goes in. the 
back of that page and then the following page I've just added the green area on there so that's this part cut off and then the, this little part which was actually the side of the top area of the little trunk and the little decorative detail and I'm just going to put glue right along the bottom and leave the rest of that open and that way you'll be able to put a little photo or a little just whatever in behind there a little tag in there like that and there On the other side of that page then I have used this same die and cut this area off for both of them and put a little strip of white card there and you can see that uh, you can actually pop something in behind there. The glue is not dry yet so I don't want to just push it too hard but on this one you, I have actually used the inside what I would call the unfinished side to the inside and this is the back cover then. And now I'm going to do what I usually do have a little look through and then I'll probably fussy cut some flowers and bits and pieces and glue them all onto those little pages. There it is, all finished and I hope you like it. I've put some twine down the side of it there and the flowers on the front and some little leaves and I've just cut myself a little card to show you where you can put little, little quotes or little memories or photographs or whatever through the book. So this one fits in here and then obviously a smaller, a shorter to go in there. And then in here, in the pocket again there, and in there. This one then in here, and this one goes in behind this little part here. Then on this one, it fits in here and here. And then this one it goes in there and the same in there as well. One last thing then before I finish this completely. Um, I've decided to do an A6 card as well. So you can see there that it's really, really simple. And I've just used this little Happy Birthday mini sentiment die set. So it's actually got the die and then the outline. I have used the little... Uh, patterned die with the outside die on here and here and then I've used the outside one just the plain one for the white area here and I've trimmed the patterned paper to sit that on top and then just pop that up and it's a really quick but really simple and easy little card and I really do hope that you enjoy these extra little ideas as well leave me a little comment don't forget to let me know if you actually do think that you would use your dies for some of these uh, I'm not sure if you would make a little mini tag book, but I like that idea too. Certainly, I love to use the dies on cards as well, because that way you get more money, more value for your money. And uh, that's always a good idea to me, I think, anyway. That's my video finished then. I'm not going to make any more with this at the moment. So we've got the two lovely little tiny trunks there. <laughs> they are really, really cute. So that's what the die set is intended to make. And they do look really, really beautiful. But I've also given you these extra ideas of this little book and this little card. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to do that and hit the notification bell. And leave me a little thumbs up, a big thumbs up even, and a little comment. And don't forget to come back again. And all of my affiliate links to everything that I've used in here will be down below in the description of the video. So even the, the birthday die set, the papers, anything you want. Uh, will be down below there and it won't cost you anything extra if you use those affiliate links but it does give me a little bit of commission as well so until next time happy crafting bye bye